What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Stock Martians YouTube channel. We just hit $41 on AMC. Right now, we're trading uh, $41.17. So, that's awesome. It's nearly doubled since the last video we've made. And I just want to come and share some great news. We have a new stockholder program for um, through, through a, uh, AMC Stubbs that uh, Adam Aaron just announced uh, recently. I have some other information that I want to just get out there, clear the air, let everybody know what's going on and how I feel about it. And also, remind all of you, we are giving out gift cards when we hit 5,000, 10,000, and 50,000 subscribers. 5,000 subscribers, we're going to give out a $100 gift card to GameStop. Uh, 10,000 subscribers, a $100 gift card to GameStop, a $100 gift card to AMC. And at fifty thousand, we're gonna give out five hundred dollar gift cards to each of Game GameStop and AMC. Uh, so please hit that subscribe button to get involved in that. And of course, comment down below if you haven't already on our videos that we've mentioned this to enter your name into the drawing. Without further ado, as I said, uh, welcome AMC stockholders on the AMC Stubbs webpage. You can sign up here. If you're a current stockholder, let us know. We'll send you special offers. Starting with an initial free large popcorn just for signing up. That's like $8 right there. And the latest AMC Investor Connect updates. The popcorn offer will be conveniently added to your AMC Stubbs account within 7 days. So you only need to scan your virtual card to receive the discount. So get on here. AMCTheaters.com uh, forward slash stockholders. Sign up and get your free popcorn and all the other great info that they're going to be giving out. And now into the more important information, Mudrick Capital Management, right? So <clears throat> before we even get into the news, I know you've heard this name because of what's happened in the last few days. I just wanted to provide some understanding here. So I've seen some posts about Citadel owning Mudrick Capital Management. That's not true. Mudrick Capital Management is not owned by Citadel. Citadel holds ownership stake in Mudrick Capital Acquisition Corporation. These are sister brother companies. Yes, they are owned by the same people. Uh, I believe it's Jason Mudrick. That yes, that's true. But Ken Griffin Citadel owns 4.7 percent stake in the Mudrick Capital Acquisition Corporate Unit, not Mudrick Capital Management LP which are the people that bought AMC shares and sold AMC shares recently, right? 8.5 million shares, which we'll get into in just a second. So I just wanted to clear that air up. Yes, Ken's, Ken Griffin Citadel does own stake in a Mudrick Capital company, but not the exact company that bought and sold AMC shares. So let's just clear that up, and we'll get on to why that's important here in just a second. So, right here, this article says AMC Entertainment Holdings raises uh, $230.5 million in a new equity uh, from new equity offering to Mudrick Capital. And they said the proceeds uh, are to be primarily used for acquisition opportunities and investments in existing AMC theaters aimed at growing AMC revenues, as well as for deleveraging purposes. An agreement to raise $230.5 million of cash from the sale of equity to Mudrick Capital Management LP in exchange for 8.5 million shares of AMC's Class A uh, common stock at approximately $27 a share. Uh, President Adam Aaron said this, Given our scale, experience, and commitment to innovation and excellence, AMC is being presented with highly attractive theater acquisition opportunities. We are in discussions, for example, with multiple landlords of superb theaters formerly operated by Arclight Cinemas and Pacific Theaters. With this agreement uh, with Mudrick Capital, we've raised funds that will allow us to be aggressive in going after the most valuable theater assets as well as to make other strategic investments in our business and to, preview, or to pursue deleveraging opportunities. He also said that given that AMC is raising hundreds of millions of dollars, this is an extremely positive result for our stakeholders. It was achieved through the issuance of 8.5 million shares, 
representing less than 1.7% of our issued share capital and only a small portion of our typical daily trading volume. This transaction underscores the real value of having some authorized share capital available for us to opportunistically capitalize on shareholder value creation possibilities as and we uh, when they arise. With our increased liquidity, an increasingly vaccinated population, and the imminent release of blockbuster new movie titles, it is time for AMC to go on the offensive again. And we do know, uh, we saw some news come out for A Quiet Place Part 2. It grossed, uh, I want to say, 97 or 87 million uh, through the Memorial Day weekend on its open. And I think it was estimated to get 30 million. So that is uh, almost triple what it was expected to gross. So that's great. The movie theaters are back. People really want to get out. Like I said, they've been locked in for Corona. They want to go see movies, and, and the movie theater experience is something that you can't replicate at home especially with a free popcorn. And we'll go on here. So we know that um, as soon as Mudrick Capital bought these shares, like literally the next day or within 48 hours, they dumped every single, all, all the 8.5 million shares onto the market. And we saw that huge hit in that one minute bar, which is where that happened, right? I believe that was yesterday. So look, I think that this was a kind of a scratch your back, I scratch your situation. So everybody knows that AMC is the most popular stock uh, aside from GameStop right now. And I would say even more people are interested in AMC because A, it's cheaper. And uh, it seems like the following has really come along around AMC a lot more in recent times. Now, I, I own massive shares of GameStop and AMC. I'm not saying um, don't invest in either one. I'm not saying that GameStop or AMC is more important than the other. I am just saying that AMC seems to be taking more of a limelight right now, right? And I think that's what they want because GameStop's shares are more expensive right now. They don't want it to squeeze. <laughs> they don't want either one of these to squeeze. But GameStop's is even higher right now. So that's something that I think that they're playing into this to make sure that GameStop doesn't come back up into the limelight again, or at least not more than it is right now. So, just to keep this in mind, and what I mean is it's a scratch your back and you scratch mine, um, I think that AMC, uh, so I know that Mudrick Capital has helped AMC and other distressed companies during coronavirus. So, they will, do, they will in insist on buying stock from these companies, and then they will dump it once the shares rise for a profit, right? So they're kind of like a loan, basically, through through common stock rather than an actual business loan. Um, but given that AMC is so popular right now, I believe that Mudrick said, hey, your shares are going up. We know they're going up. We know you're about to squeeze. We're going to buy X amount of shares from you, and then in a few days, we're going to sell them for a massive profit and also, we're going to give you million, $230 million to have right now, right? So rather than just releasing $8.5 million onto the market, they just sell them right here at a given price. They know how much they're going to get for it. They take it, they get that money, and then Mudrick Capital gets, uh, like I think they made a $400 million profit off of this in just a couple days. And at the same time, their name is everywhere now. We're talking about them right now. So this is free publicity for them. So, now, I mean, th they didn't have to call them overvalued, but whatever. I think that was a little bit of a, they didn't have to be a part of it, but I guess they had to, they had to offer an explanation, right, for selling that many that soon. But uh, I'm not saying I'm on their side. I think that I would have definitely held it if I was them longer, because uh, now it's over $40, <laughs> right? But whatever, that was their choice. Uh, they made a quick profit off of it. They got their name out there, and I think that's what they wanted. I think that's all this was. I don't think this is this is some kind of like devious citadel behind the scenes ploy uh, because it's already over and nothing happened. It's still it's still going to squeeze. I don't think this was some kind of elaborate plan to to foil everyone. I think this was just simply that Mudrick wanted some publicity and they wanted to make a quick dollar and they did it. And AMC wanted some money to take over some theater chains and they did it. And here we go. So there are like I said, they're already in talks. And this is the last thing I want to show you, just to solidify this. This is Adam Aaron's Twitter page. 
where he said uh, 12 hours ago, some of you have asked questions about AMC raising $230.5 million from the sale of 8.5 million shares. Like you, I am an AMC shareholder, and my team and I have the best interests of AMC shareholders very much top of mind. More than 500 million AMC shares change hands in a typical week. Uh, I mean, m much, much more than that, but that's about what they trade in a typical day the last few weeks. But anyways, in our view, selling 8.5 million shares is an example of our responsibly raising capital and arming AMC with that money by doing so. So I agree uh, the, the change of shares in a typical week, he's way off on that, but maybe he's averaging that over like a year or like since January 1. I'm not sure, but like I said, we have been trading nearly... Seven, bill, 7 million shares a day. So, anyways, uh, keep this in mind. He, Adam Aaron is a massive, massive AMC shareholder. He's not going to fuck the price up because that's his money. So, just keep that in mind. He's being shorted right now, too. He is truly an ape with us. He's a rich ape. He was already rich before he became an ape with us, but he's in this with us. He his his value, his net worth is tied to AMC's share price. So he's gonna do what he can to make it go up. He's not going to tank it because I mean, the only thing I could think of is if Ken Griffin came up and said, Okay, man, we'll give you a billion dollars and you just let AMC tank and don't do anything about it. Maybe. But I mean the likelihood of that happening, do they have a billion dollars to offer something like that? Especially when Adam Aaron's uh, value from, from his net worth from these shares, once it squeezes, could be worth much more than a billion dollars as much as he has right now. So I just wanted to get that out there so everybody understands what happened. And this is no big freaking deal. Right now, AMC is trading at 4103. And we're teetering right around the $41 mark. I think we're going to go up and we're probably going to test upwards of $45 today before the end of the day. And we're sitting at uh, 805, or, uh, yes, 805 right now. So um, I'm just thankful for all of you guys. Thanks for supporting us. Thanks for being here with us. And just have a great rest of your day and watch that squeeze and be ready for whatever happens next. Thank you.